Yeah, good day to you. Just uh, surveying a box of stuff I got a while back at an auction. This was tucked in the bottom. It's plenty dirty. It's actually got some like mud caked on it. Um, this is a hundred foot tape measure. Apparently, it's very dirty. Oh, it says J.C. Penny. It's probably a Nicholson or something pretty decent. Very seldom do uh, chain stores actually have their own manufacture their own stuff. They rebrand it. Just see if we can get a bit of a cleanup here. More than likely, this has been treated kind of poorly, and it's probably a rusty mess. I haven't opened, I haven't pulled it out. It's just usually the back reveals. And there's a little rust there. Hundred foot, it's pretty long. It's kind of feeling here. Looks like it's yeah, it's got a few scratches. These tapes are generally sealed. And as long as you don't scratch them up, they're pretty resistant to moisture, although you probably ought to keep them away from the moisture. Way to go. I don't know, this one doesn't seem bad. So there's a little rust, and it might be from some of the other mechanisms in there. You know, even if something is a kind of a uh, sketchy quality, it doesn't mean you have to treat it like crap. You know, somebody did pay money for it. You're not going to make it any better by treating it badly. Just taking a little oil and kind of giving it a bath here. Never know, you know, probably the average person doesn't use a 100 foot tape measure. They can't think that far ahead. But uh, when it comes time to get one, they're not terribly cheap. And it's got a little rust, but you know, all the rust seems to be on the edges. It's not kinked anywhere. Which usually is a pretty good sign. And this one's a reasonable quality one. It has little baby rollers there. Right there and there by the mouth where it rolls in. Mm, we're getting down there. Be a little bit careful doing this. These edges can, but they're usually not sharp, sharp, but they can, you know, it's kind of like a paper cut. You don't think something's sharp. You give yourself a little zinger there. Well, we got another 20 feet to go. Looks like we're getting to the end. Yeah. Not in bad shape. Is just fold this up. That's just you could use motor oil or just some light oil. Just gonna fold that over. And just keep a uh, yeah. See there, I cleaned it quite a bit of that crud off there already. A little bit there. A lot of that appears to be dirt. 
Yeah, see a lot of this is just scratching off when I scratch it with my finger now. If you don't screw up that coating that's on there, these things are actually pretty tough. So, I don't know, what do we got here? I got... Yeah, I'm ten foot into it. And I'm not going to bore you to tears. Sweet! Gee, it decided to stop. What a, just, you know, if you're going to go on the ground, just, there we go. Anyhow. So I'm just cleaning up the case, and uh, this thing actually seems in okay shape. I'm just going to sit here and mind my own business. And one of the things you can do too is you can pinch that cloth between your legs there. And just slowly wind that baby back up. Try not to pinch it too tight. Not that much dirt on there. I just, I guess this looks bad on the outside. It's another good way to find out how well built these are if they're easy to roll up. Just kind of look in the back side over there. There's a little. I don't think it's rust from the tape. I think it's just staining. This is one of these things you probably ought to unroll every so often and just give it a good look over. It could easily get corroded in there. There's some dirt. Especially if you're, uh, if you're out using this, you know, construction site or home project, more than likely something this big is probably going to be laying on the dirt. There's no sense letting the dirt go into the pack there. Well, it's not perfect. But, uh, yeah, it's got a little, well, a little chipping on the edge, but I bet something, you know, I, I don't think Penny's has had any tools for, it probably quit in the 80s. Clasp there, yeah, that baby could use a little drop of oil. Oh, what do we got here? It's a bit stiff. There we go. It's starting to work open a little bit. Oh, it's not in bad shape. Free for the grabbing. And you can do that to any any tape measure, except the uh, be careful. Some of the big, really big ones are fiberglass, and you'd probably want to wipe them off with just maybe a really slightly damp cloth or something. Um, you know, nothing ringing wet. You don't want to destroy the tape or anything. I don't know, it's a lot better looking than it used to be. There you go. You're set. That wasn't so horrible now, was it? What? A few minutes out of your life. Now if you want to buy a tape every time you need one, throw them away. Knock yourself out. Me, I kind of like uh, keeping my stuff around. This is probably pretty well built compared to today's tape measures. 
Oui, take her easy.